is a tutorial to show you the use of the VH Focus plugin from graphicextras.com. You can find it in the Blur Factory Pack, Pack 4, and it's for Windows 7, Vista, etc. Not for Mac, unfortunately. Now I'm doing it in Photoshop, but it could also be in PSP or other applications. Right, filter menu, go to the Blur section here, VH Focus, come up with a standard dialog for graphic extras plugins, Andrews plugins, put it to 50%, more accurate, higher, but it's slightly slower because of that, because it has to update the preview. And this slider changes the blur for the horizontal. And this is for the vertical, this other slider. By default, the plugin actually comes across as black and white, but uh, by changing the various mix settings here, you can actually make it into color. So you can actually make quite saturated colored blurs. That just move that a bit further along. You can take it the other way back. So you can create some unusual colour effect blurs for this. This intensity one will actually just make it a lot brighter. So it will just so you can actually really just like a really warm summer's day. You can totally obliterate the image. Or you can actually go obviously the reverse direction, make it darker. Much darker blur, so you make a sort of very gloomy design. Now these factor design settings here, sliders, make it greener. It's a multiplication of the actual value, so just multiplies the effects and make it much greener. That's the basic sliders. Now all the plugins from Graphic Extras come with lots of other additional settings and these ones I'll quickly show you down here. But I'll just quickly click OK at this point so you can just see the actual effect. So just quickly run through the uh, progress. And there's the actual end result. Of course, like with any other ones, of course, you can apply other effects as well. Also, you can do the usual edit fade blur. So you can just maybe make a slight greenish glow there. Different settings for difference. Just cancel that. Also, you can script and also apply them as actions, the plugins. So now I'm just going to go back to the filter. Now, these are the other settings I just mentioned, just briefly, I'll just quickly show. These are effect settings, basic mode. Basic mode is, and you can also, instead of actually using the plugin as a, you can actually turn it into a painting plugin, as well as always apply a smear design, using the actual effect as a source. Also, you can set the different outputs. So instead of actually using just a standard output, you can invert that. Just quickly invert. And you virtually can't see it at that point. Just reduce that down a bit. So there's the actual blur inverted. There's also many other settings, so you can just basically you can randomize these as well. So you can just go different outputs there. So it's a slightly different one. Randomize, click that blend. Right, so various settings, there's also layer settings, as well as many other color settings. So you can also apply post processing as well, which can add a gradient overlay to the design. I'm just gonna quickly set that to a bit higher than that. So you can apply different color effects. That's quite dark, so I'll just increase that slightly. Click OK at this point. You can actually create thousands and thousands of different uh, colourful effects, colourful blur effects using this plugin. And obviously there's different overlays as well, it can be used, millions of overlays that can be used, so you can have different uh, colour effects. And again, after you've done that, you can apply the plugin again if you wish. Just quickly go into the plugin and continue to work with the effect and apply a different blur. 
for the image.